actually taken him because he, he's actually up sticks and run off Bet. with my baby. Nicola saw him in the car. He had said, I need to phone the police Bet. now. What are you talking about? Oh my God. Give him to me. It's okay, baby. It's okay. She said he found him outside his house. Police are lying. I'm telling you the truth. There was a knock at the door, and when I answered it, there he was in his pram. I thought it was a bit odd. But... I would never leave my baby like that. Max, I tried to phone you. Yeah, when you realised you're mistaken that you could be done for abduction. Will you just stop lying? Talking of lying, do you care to explain this? They know everything, Robert, so don't try and wheedle out of it. You just can't help yourself, can you? I can't believe you're so gullible. Why don't we hear what he has to say first? Listen while he tells us a pack of lies, you mean? Maybe... Just, maybe there's been some mistake. There hasn't, Dad. He played us. I'm sorry. The only thing you're sorry about is the fact that you got found out. That's not true. Then why do it? We trusted you, Robert. Because I was a different person back then. Oh, please. What is it with you in this family? Why do you hate us so much? I don't. It's because we're rich, Bex, and all he cares about is money. Yeah, well, I own nothing now, do I? Until the next time you try to fleece us. Oh, come on. You know I've signed everything over to Seb, and the reason I've done that is because it's the most important thing in my life. So that's why you snatched him? If I'd snatched him, why would I bring him back? Trouble is, Robert, you've told so many lies that we don't know what to believe anymore. What? Look, you have every reason to hate me. None of you deserve what I've done, and, and I'm truly sorry. Oh, please, can we have a little less self-flagellation? Tell us something that we don't know. Just go, Robert. Nobody's interested. Okay, I was greedy, I admit it. And if, if I'm really honest, I wanted to get my own back. Excuse me? I blamed you for me and Aaron splitting up. It was stupid, I know, but without him, I felt like I had nothing. Well, this is all terribly heart-wrenching, but this isn't a self-help group. But when Seb came along, all of that changed. I mean, I've never loved anyone as much as I love him, and I've, I've changed. I want to be a better person. Do you expect us to stand here and listen to this drivel? I could lie if I wanted to, Chrissy. I'm good at that. But I'm... I'm not. I'm telling you the truth for once. The thing is, though, you do know the story of the boy that cried wolf? Please. Please, I'm begging you for my life here. All I want is to be a good father to my son. I need to have a relationship with my son. And don't you think I need to have a relationship with my son? With the boy that you have never liked? Oh, that's not true. Yes, it is, and you know it is. I'm sorry. I, I truly am. Yeah, well, sorry isn't going to bring my son back, is it? Sorry isn't going to stop him from taking his own life. He could be out there somewhere right now, lying dead, somewhere that we might never find him. Do you have any idea how that feels as a mother? Chrissy, come on. Robert, just go. You heard what she said. Get out. Lawrence, please, say something. If you won't go willingly, I will throw you out! Get out! Okay, okay, I'll go. And don't you ever step foot in this house again. And if he turns up dead, I swear on my life, I will kill you! 